Hello, hello friends and welcome back. Especially if you're returning after my last video where I got a little bit ranty. I apologize for that. Um, today's video is a match that I had on the Thompson House. Yes, one of the dreaded farm maps. Not many killers enjoy the farm maps. Particularly hard if you're playing a Michael. Luckily for me, I'm not. Um, I found this match quite interesting, um, especially due to the fact that I had a Dwight in the lobby who was a Prestige 56. So I expected great things from Dwight. Unfortunately, he didn't deliver. He just seemed to be a high Prestige Dwight. Um, I won't spoil the game, but you'll see how the game plays out. Uh, I'm not using any of the add-ons that are on this screen there. This this is an old lobby screen that I kept just to fill the beginning of the video, so ignore ignore all that on there. Um, the match played out quite well, I think. Uh, the, the Thompson House can be very tricky. It, it's a large map. I tend to stick to one side, usually the house side. I'll trap down there and try and hold the gens down there. Sometimes you can hold the gens up by shack as well. If, if there's a nice three gen round by the shack, you can trap that corner of the map and try and hold that instead. But in this video, it's the house that I trap. Um, obviously, you'll see the places that I trap where I recommend you trap on this map. But um, the farm, it can be a tricky map for most players. So I hope this video will be of some use to somebody. Maybe give you a few ideas of your own. Um, if you're returning, thank you for coming back, especially after my last video where I got a little bit ranty. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And if you're new, welcome. Please don't go and watch my last video. <laughs> Ignore that one. And um, I hope you enjoy the game, guys. I shall see you on the other side. Okay, guys. So, as you can see here, we're loading in on Thompson House. I was lucky enough to get a spawn spot down by the house. Um, I'm just scoping out where the gens are. I've got two in the corner here by the house pretty close together. I've got one in the house, there's always one upstairs. One the other side of the house and there is a close one just to my right in the corner there. So I've already decided I'm going to keep this side of the map as the most majority of the gens are down by this side. Um, depending on which way the house is facing will depend how I trap but I do like to get the traps by the stairs here as survivors do tend to run these routes. The trap that I put down in the beginning there in the house where there's a, a blood splatter on the floor, that can be quite a good trap as well as it covers multiple routes in and out of the house. Um, so now I'm just going around in the tiles, places that I think survivors may run. As I'm heading up here there we, we lose our first gen so I know that the majority of them were over by shack. And Hattie surprised me here, that's why I missed the hit. I did not expect her to be standing there. Um, but as you can see, Hattie's got um, Sprint Burst and off she goes. Sometimes I will put traps in the corn like you saw me do there. As um, survivors will run into the corn as well, you can catch them off guard. The blood trap there caught the Hattie off guard. The trap that I laid in the corn catches Claudette off guard. And there we've just lost our second gen as well, but they're the gens, the other side of the map, the ones that I'm not interested in, so it's not too bad. I do need to keep an eye on this gen here, as this is one of the ones that I want to try to keep, as it's easier to defend these three gens here than it is to try and defend the one in the house as a three gen. So I start trapping around here. Um, I don't know what Claudette was doing there, I think that she's trying to blend in the corn. Missed that hit there. But we get this one, and because she's close to the gens, I get I get the um, the jolt surge. I always call it surge, but for the the sake of others who will call it jolt now, it is called jolt. So and there's our first hook. Again, I'm worried about this gen as I want to keep it, so I go back and trap it again. Obviously know someone's down here, and it is a uh, Yui, not Yui, um, Jinjin. She got stuck there on the corner of the tile. And I miss, just like a noob. <laughs> there's more noob behaviour to come, yep, there's another miss. Ah, 
And luckily for me, she steps in the trap. <laughs> Thank goodness. Now she runs back into... Th this is a mistake. You shouldn't run back on yourself when playing against a hag because the odds are the hag is most likely trapped where you've ran from, which is what happened here with Jinjin. She ran back into a tile that I'd already been in and I'd already placed a trap there when I was chasing her earlier, so... Obviously Claudette's been unhooked, so I trap and then I leave. Again, I'm worried about that gen, as you can you can just see there that I've got two gens close to each other there and that one in the corn. They're the better ones to defend as the house gen is difficult as you have to keep going up the stairs to defend it. Come down and shock horrors. They've moved into my area and they've started working the gens down here. I cannot allow it. Here we find our Prestige 56 Dwight who instantly throws a pallet and he's not even injured. That is not a good move. You should have saved that pallet. And you are in my area down here so odds are you're going to hit a trap. We take his medkit there. We trap it because survivors always come back for their items. This trap in the house again as you can see keeps getting set off. Claudette is setting all the traps off in the corn. I think she went back for her toolbox there. We head back in as we saw Dwight trying to creep back in for his medkit. There he is, he's picked it up. As I said, survivors love to go back for their items. Now this here was a mistake on my part. I should have trapped, but I didn't. So we end up chasing him down to this end of the map. He drops another pallet, we trap it. And this was a good move here on his part. He moves away from the loop that I trap and he goes to a corner of the map where he knows I haven't trapped. His best bet there would have been to keep running to Shark however he decides to play the Harvester. And that gives me a nice day. So the medkit that he went back to pick up has now become useless. He may as well have just left it as he didn't manage to pick it up anyway and it's now on the floor again. So we put him back on this hook here in the middle. Here, a boon's just gone up. And then I, I need to go back and check the gen down here that he was working on as it was pretty far progressed and I do want to keep it. So we give our gen here a little tap just to get it regressing. We get rid of the pallet. And we go back to try. As the Dwight ran this way, I decide to trap there, as it's most likely if he ends up down here again, or even other survivors will probably run that route too. You tend to find survivors are creatures of habit. What one does, the others usually do as well, unless you're facing very, very good survivors. They usually tend to do the same things. Now, we could have gone for Dwight there. Instead, we let him go. He's heading up to Shark to heal, probably into the boon, is my guess. And we catch out Claudette in our area. Now this is Claudette's second hook. And we got a nice um, surge on our gens down here as well, which is good as we want to keep these gens. And then again, back into the house, the trap here in the, in the, um, the corn catches off Jinjin. As you can see, I'm not, I'm, I've changed some of my perks out here. I, I'm actually enjoying Starstruck and Agitation lately. As the Hag's Terror Radius is quite small, only 24 meters, and the Agitation spreads it out. I think it's another 8 meters or 12 meters, so 36 meters, which will push my Starstruck out. I find that I don't tend to get a lot of downs, insta-downs with Starstruck, but it does stop people from body blocking the hook, and even flashlight saves like my Starstruck, they tend to leave. So this, this is why I've been using Starstruck lately. And you see Claudette gets unhooked and she's run off into an area there, along the back of the house, there's no traps there, so I let her go and I take the hook on Hattie. We have to retrap as the trap got set off. We've lost another gen, but it is one of the ones that I'm not too concerned with as it's too far across from the ones that I'm trying to keep anyway, so we're not too upset about that gen. We trap this pallet as it, it will come into play later. And we go back. A few sp um, sparse traps in the corn, and then I check my gen again. Nobody's touching that one, which I'm pleased about. You can see everybody's healed up which means somebody's going to be coming for the unhook on Hattie soon. 
There's the blight again. The corn trap took him by surprise. So this time we trap the pallet. And he moves on, so we move on as well. He's running back down to the LT wall. This time I do trap, I learned from my mistake last time. Let's just trap it and move on. Another boom going up again. Somebody got the unhook on Hadi. I saw a crow go up at the back there. Jin Jin, I don't know why she threw that. I was nowhere near close enough to be affected by a flashbang, but she threw it anyway. And here I decide to take my chances and rehook the Hattie as she's only had one hook anyway and we are at two gens. Most survivors don't seem to be running DS these days. And there is the down on the Starstruck. This is why I've been using Starstruck lately. And um, with the agitation as well to increase the terror radius so I have more of a chance of, of catching somebody in it. As you can see there, our Dwight went off and healed up and now he's back again. And he comes straight in for the unhook while injured, which is a mistake because you are going to go down. And I get some more jolt on my gens. I don't know why Hadi does this as I'm right on top of the hook. Now she has to go and spend time mending, so it was a bad idea. As you can hear there, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but Dwight is actually giving up on Hook, which surprised me. As I said, he was the highest prestige out of all the players in this lobby, but he does give up on his second Hook. Claudette gave us that nice pallet there, which I'm appreciative of. You can hear the boon down here. This is where they've all been healing. So we get rid of that to stop any healing happening. Claudette has just given me another pallet. Now I trap here as quite a few survivors, if, if you've noticed, have run the, the back of this house, they've run this route and I haven't had anything there. So we put a trap there. Jinjin gets hit by our hook trap there. And yes, I know her name is Yunjin. I just call her Jinjin. That's what we've always called her when we play, so it just kind of sticks. I decide to get rid of this pallet now. As I said, survivors are usually creatures of habits. If they run one route once, they'll most likely run it again. That's why I trapped the back of the house. So that's Jinjin Jin gone as well as the Dwight. Now we only have the Claudette and the Hattie. Who are both, I believe, on Death Hook. I certainly know the Claudette definitely is, and I think the Hadi is too. Of course, once you're down to two survivors and you've got quite a. Well, I have two gens left at the minute. You don't have to worry as hard as you can be in chase with the one, and the other one's going to be doing gen work, but they're not going to pop two gens in the time, usually, anyway. It takes you to down the other survivor, so. We get Claudette down here. Now I could have just hooked her, but I knew if I hooked her, she's dead. And the Hattie would have had a good chance of getting the hatch, so I decide to leave her down while I look for Hattie. And as you see from the bleed out timer, it did take me a while to find her. So as it took me a little bit of time to find the Hattie, I did skip it on a bit. Um, you're not missing much, all you're seeing is me walking around the corn trying to find her. 
as I come back around to the house. I've been setting traps along the way and then I see her creeping, which is why no traps have been being set off. She's been crawling everywhere. As you can see from the Claudette's bleed out timer, she has been on the floor quite a while since I downed her. And there's that house trap again in the blood. Now, as I feel quite bad for leaving Claudette on the floor for so long, I wouldn't usually do this. Um, I was going to give Claudette the hatch, so I put Hattie on the hook down here. And Claudette is just on the hill behind me, just here. Um, I'm trying to communicate with her the best I can not to wiggle. This is me trying to tell her, please don't wiggle. I'm go Yes, I'm going to give you hatch. Obviously, there is a small wiggle when they pick up because the game automatically does it, but she continues to wiggle even after I hit things, trying to tell her not to. So I decide to hook her. But if you do stop wiggling when I pick you up, if you're the last survivor, or if I'm trying to ex um, communicate to you not to wiggle, I usually do give the hats to the last survivor, especially if I've left you on the floor as I feel bad for wasting your time. So please don't wiggle. So there was the Thompson House um, match guys, um, I'm not sure if you noticed but on the end screen there it didn't actually show you the Dwight's prestige but on the lobby screen before we loaded in it said he was 56 and I believe that is a bug that happens at the moment where it's not actually showing, not every game but some games it doesn't show you on the end screen for some reason it's just blank but take my word for it he was a 56 prestige Dwight. Um, I hope you enjoyed that match and it maybe gave you a few ideas of how to trap it yourself. As I said, you do, do want to tend to stick to the main structures and maybe some of the tiles, but every now and again a trap in the corn, as you can see, will catch them off guard as a lot of survivors were running into the corn not expecting you to have trapped it. They do obviously, usually anyway, expect the traps in the house or in the main structures, but um, you can catch quite a few off guard if you trap in the corn as well. Um, now, as a hack player, I don't usually tend to mind Thompson House, the new version anyway. The old version was definitely a pain, but the new version isn't too bad. I'd say out of all the corn maps, the one that I dislike the most is definitely Rotten Fields. It's so difficult to trap as there isn't anything anywhere other than the shack in the middle, and there's so many different routes the survivors can go. But I won't go on too much about that map as we didn't play a game on that map today, so we'll save that for another one. Um, I hope this video has been of some use to you in any way at all. I would love it if you could leave me a like and a comment, that would be great. If you'd like to check out my other channels, I have the um, names down in the description. Uh, I do stream occasionally if you'd like to drop me a follow over on Twitch. Um, I do tend to upload a lot more of my content to TikTok, however and you will find a lot of um, hack gameplay over there as well as survivor gameplay and a few other killer bits as well that I've done. Um, as I said, the TikTok is my main account. If you want the content, I suggest that you head over to that one. Anyway guys, it has been a pleasure to show you this game. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Have a good day guys. Bye.